Welcome to Word Practice 3. To get started, launch Microsoft Word and click Blank Document. Show formatting marks and show the ruler. Save your document as your last name, your first name, Word Practice 3 in your Word folder. On the Insert tab, in the Header and Footer group, choose Footer, then Edit Footer. In the Header and Footer Toolbar Design tab in the Insert group, choose the arrow under Document Info. Add the file name to the footer, then exit the footer. At the top of your document, insert a 2x4 table. To insert a table, navigate to the Insert tab, Tables group, click Table, Drag your cursor in the grid to create a table with two columns and four rows. Beginning with the first cell in the table, type each of the following, pressing Tab at the end of each item. In the third row, type Work Experience and press Tab. Using the Insert Text from File function, insert the text from Text, Word, Practice 3. Remove the blank line at the end of the inserted text. In the fourth row, type Education and Certifications, and press Tab. Type the following, pressing Enter at the end of each line except for the last one. Select all of the text to the right of Qualifications, apply bullets, and decrease the indent. The bullets and decrease indent are located on the Home tab in the Paragraph group. Use the Format Painter to copy the bullets and the decrease indent to the description of Work Experience. In the text next to Education and Certifications, apply the bullets to the list. Increase the indent for the Bachelor of Science degree. Drag the table vertical border between the two columns until the white arrow on the ruler is at approximately 1.5 inches on the horizontal ruler. Select the text in the first column. Ensure all of the text in the first column is left aligned. On the Table Tools, Layout tab, Cell Size Group, using the Width box, Down Spin Arrow, set the column width to 1.4 for the first column. Click Auto Fit and select Auto Fit Window. Use the one-click row column insertion button to insert a new row above education and certifications. In the left cell of the new row, type technical skills and press tab. If necessary, turn off the bullets. In the second column, type the following, pressing enter at the end of each line except for the last one. In the top row of the table, change the top and bottom cell margins to 0.04. Cell margins are on the Table Tools Layout tab, Alignment Group.
Remove any extra spaces or lines in the first row of the table. At the top of the document, insert a row above the first row. On the Table Tools Layout tab, in the Rows and Columns group, choose Insert Above. Select the entire first row that you just added. On the Table Tools Layout tab, merge the two cells in the top row. In the first row of the table, type the following. and then press Tab. Note, pressing Tab would move to the next cell, whereas pressing Control plus Tab moves within the cell. Select Matt Smith and use the mini toolbar to bold and italic and change the font size to 14. Select all of the text in the first row and set spacing before and after to zero points. Remove any extra spaces or lines in the first row of the table. With all of the text still selected, in the first row, center all of the text. Beginning in the second row, italicize and bold all of the headings in the left-hand column. In the cell to the right of Work Experience, italicize and bold the job title Help desk technician. In the cell to the right of education and certifications, bold University of Youngtown. Change the spacing after to 12 points for the line beginning with bachelor. Make sure the box don't add space between paragraphs of the same style is unchecked. In the cell to the right of work experience, select help desk technician and set the spacing to 12 points after. Select the entire table and remove all the borders. There are a few ways to do this. The first method is to click the crosshair indicator in the upper left-hand corner of the table. The second method is to start at the top of the table and click and drag to select the entire table. The third method is to use the shortcut key Control plus A. On the Table Tools Design tab, in the Border group, select No Borders. Design tab, in the Border group, select Borders and Shading. In the Borders and Shading dialog box, apply the thick upper line and thin lower line table style to the top of the table and the thin upper line and thick lower line to the bottom of the table. Click OK. In the line beginning with Matt Smith, change the spacing after to 12 points. In Backstage View, display the print preview under Print. If necessary, exit Backstage View and make any modifications. Compare your document to the example. In Backstage View, under Info, show Advanced Properties, type in the Tags box, Resume. Type your course name and section number in the Subject box and be sure your name is in the author box. Note, for this activity, you will have to use a second account or work with a partner who is available to view your presentation. In Backstage View, click Share, Present Online. Share the document using Present Online. Select one of the two methods for using the link or sending the link to your partner. Click Start Presentation and, when you're finished, end the presentation. Save the document and before closing Word, 
verify where your document is saved. Then close Word. Submit the file for grading per your instructor's instructions. I hope this video has helped you to complete this project. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to your instructor. They're here to help.